day 24. The theme for today is This Ain't It. This is probably the hardest theme I had uh, for locking down an idea for. And uh, I decided to go with a two panel shot. The first panel is Thor reaching out, calling Mjolnir uh, to him. And then this is the second panel when he actually gets the hammer, but it's an actual hammer. So I thought it was funny in my head. I thought it would be a cool little two panel quick shot, kind of funny. And uh, it came out pretty good. Uh, I'm using an 11 by 17 picture as a background of some lightning I found from a comic source. I forget which, it's probably a Thor comic or something like that. And the first panel, I actually had it flipped upside down. I didn't want the lightning to be in the exact same spot for both panels. So first shot, I had it right side up. And then for the second shot, I flipped it up just so that the lightning is kind of in a different position. Obviously, the framing will be like this and then I'll probably just put the panels side by side but yeah I thought it was kind of funny thought it was a cool little idea it was very quick uh, I'm not breaking my back for this one but I think the most trouble I had with this idea was coming up with the idea in the first place I think it was the last idea I had written down to, to finally lock in so yeah uh, day 24 this ain't it let's check it out All right, we're on day 25. The theme for today is Sidekicks Shine. Every year they do some kind of sidekick type theme where, you know, it kind of highlights the sidekicks. It's usually a bunch of Robin and, you know, other sidekicks. I'm trying to think of some off the top of my head, but I can't think of any. There's sidekicks don't, there's not really too many sidekicks nowadays, but I uh, just naturally went with Bucky here. This is from the old Brood Queen series from uh, Marvel Legends when Hasbro initially took over. And uh, it was the kind of the dark days of the Hasbro Marvel Legends. I think it was like 2006, 2007 that this figure came out. And it's not really that good, unfortunately. I mean, it does have quite a lot of articulation, and there's some cool poses you can put it in. And I think the color's really nice, too. But uh, overall, it just over time, it just doesn't really hold up. I would really love for them to do an uh, original uh, look for, or original appearance for Bucky uh, down the line. Uh, so that'd be kind of cool. They don't really have any, like, kid bucks that I think that would work for it so it might be something that they would have to create all together but that'd be really cool to get like a first appearance Captain America maybe first appearance Bucky 2 pack or something like that I think that's definitely something they could do anyways back to the theme it's sidekick shine so it, usually what I'm thinking a lot of people are gonna do for this is that they're gonna have the sidekicks like saving their hero or or you know saving the day or something but I kinda took it more literally and I'm having Bucky shine Captain America's bike here. I had this little towel that came with a Mezco uh, Hellboy figure way back in the day. So I kind of just folded it up, put it right on the windshield here, and it kind of looks like Bucky's wiping down uh, Captain America's bike. Um, so no, no hate to Bucky, but it is kind of like a, <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of like a bitch task or something to have your sidekick wipe down your motor motorcycle. So I don't think Captain America would actually have Bucky do this, but I just thought it sounded funny. So yes, this is sidekick shine. Let's check it out. All right, we're on day 26 now. And the theme for today is girls get it done. Uh, so I just watched Werewolf by Night maybe like a week ago. And of course, Elsa Bloodstone is in that. And uh, I really liked it. I thought it was really great. So I pulled out the uh, Bloodstone figure from the A Force pack, uh, the Toys R Us exclusive from a few years ago. I, I don't even remember how many years ago it was. Maybe it was like 2017 or 2018, one of those. It was right when Toys R Us was closing down. Uh, anyways, uh, apparently it's a hard figure to find now, I, but it's it's a pretty good figure. It's using the old female uh, body, but I still really like it. Um, I think they've just, the face on uh, the Bloodstone figure is just so good, man. Uh, they really knocked it out of the park with this uh, figure. Anyway, she's kind of hard to stand. She's got high heels, and uh, so I kind of had to work on the posing a little bit. I'm using a jackal in the front here that's in focus. Of course, I just explained all of Elsa's backstory while she was out of focus, but you can see her here now. 
And uh, yeah, so Jackal's in the front, use a couple little blood effects to simulate his head exploding. Uh, I have a light that's right above uh, the uh, gun right there, so it kind of simulates like a little muzzle flash. And I think it worked out pretty good. It's a dark scene. You know, I've tried to utilize the the effects for gunfire before in daylight, and it just never really works out that well. Uh, so I kind of went with the night scene, and with the limited amount of lights, uh, it really makes that uh, muzzle flash really pop, I think, right here. The gun is black, so it is a little hard to see the gun, but hopefully, you know, the story kind of tells itself here. Working with the base from Mayron Studios, it's a kind of a dirt base. I kind of wanted to go with like a woods type of vibe here, in the dark, heavily inspired by Werewolf by Night. And uh, I had to kind of be a little crafty with how I used the green shrubbery because I didn't really want the jackal to be mixed in with the, the green bushes and trees and everything in the background. So I kind of moved him as far away as I could and kind of situated some of the trees and everything in a way that you can still clearly see the jackal. And uh, you can see that muzzle flash and you can see Elsa. She's going to be in focus for this shot. And I think it came out really cool. You know, I use this uh, scene uh, or this base, this dirt base a lot for shots, uh, usually in the day with like a forest kind of feel. Uh, so it's kind of nice to come back to this and do uh, a night shot. Of course, we're using uh, the black felt as the background. I've, I've raised my contrast so it comes out like, like jet black. And uh, overall, I'm really happy with this. This is Girls Get It Done. This was not my initial idea. This is actually a, a second idea. I was originally going to use uh, Bo-Katan and uh, the other Mandalore Sabin, or I forget what her name is, but it, I actually took those pictures too, but they weren't really working out, so I went with this. And uh, I'm really happy with how this came out. So, so yeah, girls uh, get it done. Even though there's only one girl here, and, but she's the only one that really needs. <laughs> she doesn't really work with too many people, other than I think like Marvel Zombies. I think she was working with. Uh, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, yeah fun little shot. All right, we're on day 27. The theme for today is I love the 90s. I was originally going to do something with the 90s X-Men and uh, I'm looking at the milk bottle that Jean's holding it just fell off <laughs> that's hella funny uh, anyways I was gonna do something with the 90s X-Men and then I was just thinking and thinking and thinking and I came up with a funny idea for Professor X it being his 90th birthday kind of like a play on the theme itself so I love the 90s 90s as in 90th birthday it's kind of just like a dumb joke overall obviously Professor X doesn't look 90 here but it kind of it was like a I don't know I just thought it was funny in my head it's the 90s X-Men pretending it's his 90th birthday he's got a birthday cake right here which is kind of funny I'll just tip that up right there so it says happy birthday on it which is kind of cool. Uh, you can't really see the writing in this uh, pose here, but yeah, I'm using the uh, Palisades Muppet Kitchen Play Set I got a while back. Some other 112th furniture, the table here. I had to prop up the table though. And then uh, just a couple characters. I didn't want to put too many characters in the shot. It's kind of like a confined area. The kitchen set is only so big, so you can actually kind of see the wall over here on the right side so it's gonna the framing is gonna be a little bit tighter but yeah I just wanted a couple of figures in the kitchen itself I think it's kind of cool uh, Beast is in the back there kind of like washing his hands where the sink is I put a little light in the window right there so you can see a little bit of light on him well, I guess you can't really but it's there I see it and uh, yeah fun little shot lots of little props and uh, you got Wolverine using his claws to cut the cake Jubilee, I love that Jubilee figure, using the little bubblegum head attachment, which is pretty cool. And overall, it's just a fun shot. It's just lots of little details in here that you can kind of just spend a little time and go over and see all the little props. And yeah, fun little story kind of came together. So this is I Love the 90s. Let's check it out. All right, we're on day 28. Theme for today is Black Excellence. And I was kind of like workshopping like which character I wanted to shoot. And I got this Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson figure a while back. 
And uh, I mean, it's a really great figure. Storm collectibles for me, it's like, I either really love the figure or it's like whatever to me. Like, I really love the Sagat figure, but the Zangief I got, I wasn't really like super stoked on. I mean, it still looks great and everything, but this Mike Tyson figure is just like, it's just incredible. And the likeness to a the actual Mike Tyson is like, it's amazing. It, it really looks exactly like him. Uh, so when I thought of doing the Black Excellence shot, I was looking up portraits of Mike Tyson. I saw a few that were in black and white. And I was like, you know what, I kind of like that style. So I went with the black felt background. That way it doesn't absorb any light or anything like that. And then I just got really super zoomed in on his face. And uh, everything is in focus. I'm working with a really high f-stop here. So uh, everything's in focus. Got some backlighting, some front lighting. And uh, we, I think it's like f-14 or something like that. And uh, it came out really cool, man. I took a bunch of different little variants of this shot. Uh, he comes with like three different heads. Uh, and uh, I had a couple with the gloves in the shot. I did a couple in color. I did majority of them in black and white. Because, uh, uh, I don't know, it just it looked really cool to me. So, yeah, this is Day 28, Black Excellence. Let's check it out. All right, so we're on day 23. The theme for today is student and master. I kind of had this idea in my head of a taskmaster shot actually jogging all these guys while they're singing like, you know, marching songs. But then I switched it up a little bit once I uh, realized that crossbones actually might be a better fit for this shot. And I kind of got him leaning over like, you know, talking to one of the Hydra soldiers like he messed up and did something wrong so he's like kind of like super close in his personal space like giving him a hard time. Uh, I watched a lot of clips from uh, Full Metal Jacket of uh, the boot camp scenes and it kind of gave me the idea to do this. I think it came out pretty uh, pretty cool right here. I kind of went with a warmer setting here instead of the cooler setting I've been doing uh, recently. And I think it came out really nice. They're kind of in like a castle kind of environment. I've got like a uh, a little picture on a box outside of that window there. You guys can barely see the window in the top right, uh, but I wanted it there just in case I had to, you know, move the angle up a little bit and you're seeing outside and it's just of like a castle background. So uh, pretty cool. The framing is going to be more like right here, so you won't see that hallway and everything, but. Uh, a little bit of that hallway is in the shot, so I went ahead and just put a green on there, you know, for Hydra. You know, green always meshes well with these soldiers. Uh, I had the saturation up really high, but I actually kind of turned it down a little bit because it was actually like a little too... The colors were popping a little bit too much, and uh, it, it just didn't look right, so I kind of switched it up a little bit. But overall, I think this came out really cool. Got, uh, was this, 12 Hydra soldiers here. There's six of the new Hydra soldiers and six of the old Hydra soldiers from 2014. Both obviously the same body and everything. I do like these newer versions of the Hydra soldiers from the two-pack a little bit better. But overall, I think this came out pretty cool, and I'm really digging how, uh, how it looks. So let's check it out. All right, day 30, the theme for today is Fright Night. Uh, I had an idea of just basically having two horror figures boxing or something like that, kind of like Fight Night, but Fright Night. And then the, the idea kind of evolved over time. And, uh, you know, this whole time that I've been taking pictures for the month of October, I haven't taken a picture of any of the horror figures I have. And this is probably a good amount of them, most of them that I have. And I wanted to do at least one. Uh, picture or horror picture you know I'm not a super big horror fan but during October I like to watch some scary movies so usually by the end of it I've got a good amount of ideas or source material to go off of so I watched a, a decent amount of horror movies this this October so I wanted to do something and then I came up with the idea of uh, Fight Club which is not a horror movie at all but I just thought it'd be funny if there was like a horror uh, character Fight Club and then I'm just gonna call it Fright Club which I just, I think I'm a genius. Anyways, uh, this is kind of the idea. They're in the woods somewhere. We got the moon illuminated behind them. And then we've got uh, uh, Wolfman putting uh, the mummy in a full Nelson. Is that a full Nelson? I don't know. I looked up just like funny wrestling moves 
and this one popped up and I just thought it would it would work with Wolfman and the Mummy. Uh, it may not be a full Nelson. Uh, I, I don't watch wrestling at all or anything like that, but I'm sure it's some, something close to it. So yeah, this is uh, Fright Night. Uh, just basically uh, Wolfman uh, beating up the Mummy. So yeah, let's check it out. All right, man, we did it. Day 31, the last day of October. Uh, the theme for this day is it's been a hell of a ride. And it's very uh, true to the name uh, theme because uh, it really has been a hell of a ride. Uh, you know, I at the beginning of October, I really, I feel like I went all out and pulled out pretty much every trick I had that I've learned over the last two years of doing toy photography and applied it throughout the very many shots that I did. And then the further I got into October, I felt like I was just losing more, more and more focus. Um, I mean, you may see that, you may not. Hopefully you enjoyed most of the pics, but I was kind of losing interest probably around like day 15, 16. And the last 10 or so days, I just, I really haven't been giving it my all. So for this last shot, I just really wanted to do something super dope. And uh, we're doing the Ghost Rider here. This is the uh, Ghost Rider that came out from Hasbro a few years back, which is actually really hard to find for a good price nowadays. And we're working with a super dope cutout from the source I don't know. Uh, like all my cutouts, I don't usually log the information of what comic they're from, but it, I'm sure it's a Ghost Rider comic or something. But the, the idea here is, you know, the pennant stare, a Ghost Rider look into my eyes and then this dude burning up. I initially just had uh, the Ghost Rider and the cutout here, but the more and more I looked at it, the more layers I added. So I added a fire cutout in the back that you can barely see. Uh, it's kind of like right here, if you can see that. So, so adds a layer in that back. And then of course we've got this fire uh, cutout right here in the front, which both of these cutouts weren't really meant for this kind of use. They're more like background cutouts, but I feel like the front really needed something, so I put a really low f-stop, so the back is blurry, the front is blurry, and everything in focus is just the Ghost Rider and the cutout, and I'm really stoked on this one. I had to put a bunch of lights on that Ghost Rider to get all of the flame effects and everything lit up. There's a light that's like right above the Ghost Rider right here that's lighting up his head a little bit. Not everything came out super bright as far as the flame effects go, but for the most part, man, I'm, I'm really happy with this. Um, and I think it's also kind of funny that this is going to be the last day for the Ghost Rider to fund, which I, it's not going to happen. I'm, I'm almost certain of it at this point, which sucks because uh, I don't know if I really told anyone this, but I was a backer from the beginning, man. I was really stoked to get the, the Ghost Rider a Hell Charger, so... It's a bummer, but uh, you know, at least nobody will have it. <laughs> if that's the way I think about it, you know, I, I just would have hated hated to miss out on it if other people had gotten it. And if you backed out, I totally get it. The price is insane. Uh, I, I still think the price was just nuts, but yeah, man, I wanted to do some kind of Ghost Rider shot. I think it just fits the theme. It's been a hell of a ride. And, I think it's pretty cool. So yeah, this is all 31 days of October completed. This is the third year in a row I've done. I feel like I I learned a good amount of uh, new stuff that I applied for some of my shots and really kind of swept that dust off of maybe not shooting so much so often. So that's always a good thing. And uh, from what I remember the last couple Octobers I've done, it's, it always gets me kind of stoked to be able to shoot just normal stuff again, as opposed to working off of a theme, so I've got tons of ideas that have kind of culminated since the beginning of doing this little event here, and uh, I'm excited to shoot those, but yeah, I hope hopefully everybody digs this last shot, and uh, I, I just think it's super dope, so... Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my Instagram, uh, where I, you know, I'll show you all the completed shots and some other cool stuff on there. Check out my reels on there. Make sure, it, you know, thanks for liking and subscribing if you've been doing that. If you guys have been following me from the beginning of this, uh, maybe you should get into toy photography. Maybe you should, you know, maybe watch a couple of my videos and get on the table with the iPhone or whatever you got and take some pics, man. It's super fun. This event is like, it's an endurance event, so... I'm kind of glad it's over. I'm definitely going to take some time off, but uh, if you have been watching since I've 
been doing this whole event. I really appreciate you guys. So thanks so much, and I will catch you guys next time with some new stuff. It's going to be dope.